like I don't really let like now that I mean I know females be envious but I just feel like you're not feeding fucking or financing me so I don't really care like mm -hmm. yeah. you're not stopping my money you're not doing nothing personal in my life to bother me so I just be letting them do what they want to do because at the end of the day as long as you don't affect my money or my life yeah. I don't give a fuck what you do you can be mad in your own corner you're beefing with yourself exactly I remember penny pinching in the streets ain't no forgiveness I'm just praying ain't no witness RIPs in the clip if he take two to three steps that's what I'ma give him you know bug never slipping and I'm steady limping cause these benjis in my britches got him unlifted uncle serving dog and got a sentence but he know no snitching he gon' Michael Vick it yeah yeah my comments yeah, are finished time, finally. Hi. Hi. Hey, girl. Good afternoon. I was going to say good morning. Shoot. Good morning. Good afternoon. <laughs> right. Good afternoon. <laughs> Y'all, here go my girl, Tori. Oh, my God. I love her. She's so creative and supportive. Here's her channel. <laughs> oh, snap. So, I've been watching the whole time. I was, I was gonna um, answer first and say like something about the welder because I knew because you was at work and I was like, "What you do, girl?" Yeah. So I was trying not to get nothing away. Yeah. You would have been cheating. Uh, well, I'm here though. <laughs> Let's, let me get my camera fixed. I told y'all that's the most realistic one, though. That's the only reason I knew, because I was like, ain't nobody going to say that. Like, Had I not knew, though, I probably would have did say it well there. No yeah. Way. I um, figured. I would have said it, too. Okay, so I'm going to ask some people real quick, y'all. Okay, that's cool. Okay. Can y'all see me? Yeah, we can see you. Mm -hmm. okay. My camera acting weird. All right, so... um. I'm going to go ahead so y'all can start y'all stuff uh, with the two truths and one lie. Yeah. Okay, so it, I like black hair. You like what? I like black hair. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, Not like his in race, but just literally the color. Okay. Okay. Um, I love high heels, and I've had a total of six boyfriends. This is That's too good. You've been word. practicing the last couple of days. Huh? You know, I'll be right my oh, So you really thought, hi, Eva. Hi, baby. Hey, That's a hard one. Hey, y'all. Can y'all guess in the comments below? One, two, or three, which one is the lie? Yeah, which one, which one is the lie between what she said? Say it one more time. I like black hair. I love high heels. And I've had a total of six boyfriends in my lifetime. Hmm. I think I know which one I'm going to pick. I would say you like high heels because you're a little smidget. <laughs> The truth is, I mean, the lie is that you like black hair because you always got color hair. Yeah, but I feel like that would be too easy, so I feel like she do like black hair. Right? What was the last option? And she I had six boyfriends. Mm -hmm. In my whole life. I don't even know about that one, but... Nothing. Period. Ah, how funny. Okay. So we gonna the first topic we're doing is uh, women and the other women. So the first question I want to ask you guys is what causes the envy with other women? What do you think causes that? Um, I would say competition. I feel like women always uh being in competition with each other. Somebody trying to see if somebody man checking them out or uh, who got the best outfit on, what she fat at. They look for flaws too. Oh my mm -hmm. god. I feel like we're mm -hmm. definitely looking for us. That's good. Yeah. What do I you think, Bree? I agree with what you said. People be in competition. And I think some people just don't be secure in themselves. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. So instead of, like, seeing other women who are doing well, like, to me, I love pretty friends. I love, like, other women who are doing great because it makes me want to do better. Mm -hmm. right. But some people see that and they be like, uh-uh, I got to find something bad about you. Like you say, you got to find a flaw about somebody. Mm -hmm. so I, I think agree. sometimes people just don't be happy with themselves. Yeah, so, I feel like if, like I was saying earlier, it's nothing wrong with having insecurities. Like, we imperfect. We have to learn to accept things. So, right. I think that they take that and keep making it more of a negative thing instead of taking that. And if you see this person has 
security is something that you insecure about, you should ask them to assist you to, you know, get advice, help you get out of that place. Right. You know what I'm saying? So instead of instead of looking at her and being jealous, you should look at her and ask for help. Right. Because you right, never right. know, she could have struggled with the same thing that you hating on her about, and she didn't overcame right. her struggle when you hating on her about her her accomplishment. You know what right. I'm saying? So. Women, I feel like, should just help each other, learn from each other, uplift each other, and there would be no reason to be envious. Like, and then they'd be envious about things that that person can't even change about themselves. Like, yeah. that's just how she was born, and you mad about that. Right. She ain't got nothing to do with that. Right. I agree. And I think, like you said, people don't realize you never know who can help you because instead of hating on the next woman, she might be able to help you get to that same place that she is. Yeah, exactly. Because she probably had to overcome the same thing you hate on her about. Right. Yeah. That's, That's a good one. one. <laughs> so, the next question I have is, how do you know if a woman is envious of you? As a matter of fact, let me type the question in. Like, uh, oh, yeah. Question. Oh, yeah. Go for it. Yeah. You know. uh, <sighs> it's the bump for me. Oh, I feel like her, how her character is around you, like how she talks to you. Because some women, they, they be saying like little funny stuff. Like, you know, we say bitch all the time. But it's yeah. Like, we say bitch. Like, Ugh, bitch, I like those shoes. Where you get them from? It's like you can hear in their voice. It's a voice for me. Yeah. Like, the way that she be coming at you like that, you be like... Mm -hmm. Right. She be like that. Like, what's wrong with her? What's up? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it's a voice for me. For real. For me, I think it's the, the low-key shady shots, but they want to joke. Yes. Like, yeah. nah, you meant yes. that. You trying to be funny. You meant that. That came mm -hmm. from someplace for real deep down inside. I agree. Right. Or the ones when they get in front of somebody and they try to show out. They yes. Try to yes. Be funny and they stuff. hold. Like, they switch up. They hold funny? energy. Like now you trying to crack jokes. You wasn't even a. You're not a comedian any other day. What's For this real. <laughs> yes. Now, now you right. fucking Mike Epps in here. What's going on? Right. <laughs> right. Harder somebody. For real. I say that, and then. Well, I guess. This is kind of going to the story time, which we're going to do. But mm -hmm. I would say, um, but see, that's kind of into friendship. So I ain't even going to say that yet. I'm going to stick with the shots. I don't want to get into the next part. <laughs> I will say, though, I be kind of naive about that. Like, I be wanting to see the best of everybody, so it takes me a second to be it's like, this bitch not my friend for real. Like, right. Shit. Yeah. That's true. Because I joke all the time, and I play too yeah. much. So, like, right. I see somebody doing the same thing, and I'm not catching that it's shots. Until it has to keep happening, keep happening, and keep happening, and I'm like, yeah. this is a pattern here. Like, it's something up with this. <laughs> this ain't right. Sure. So the next question I type it to is, how can you avoid that energy from other women? Mm. I say, for me, it go back to character. Like I feel like you have to have a good way to read people, and I feel like I'm kind of good at that. Mm -hmm. so that's why I feel like I can avoid it. Um, how they talk about their friends and how they back. I watch that. Yeah. I watch, um. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The shady stuff yeah. they do, the friends that That's they be with, you know, because some of their friends get them out. I used to, um, because like, I used to hate when boys say bros be hoes, and they be like, oh yeah, if your friend a hoe, you a hoe too. Right. Technically not. Yeah. Um, because you could be like very plain Jane, and your friend be a hoe. Um, True. So I, I would say the way their friends is to a certain extent. I think they can get it out. A little bit too. I agree. Yeah. For me, I was I would I would I, to I go like along with what you said. I agree. I would say I would have to watch um, their heart, just try to see if they're like jealous hearted overall. Even if it's somebody that 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 they don't know, they could be like, "This bitch ain't she?" Woo, 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 woo. You know what I'm saying? Like that's just jealous hearted. Like you might do that, mm -hmm. but have my back. So right. if you the type right. to just like always have that type of energy. I just won't be around it. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so I, um, I, uh, I feel like I can mm -hmm. read. Like, I call it the smell. Y'all know I'm crazy. It's like an odor or something that I get from you. 
Yeah. And I can smell yeah. like your negativity. I don't, ugh, I, I'll be hating it. Yeah, yeah. definitely. I agree. I'm all about vibes. So if I feel like I'm getting a bad vibe, I'll be like, uh uh-uh, uh, you gotta go. Mm-hmm. I try to give everybody a fair chance, but like you said, if they keep talking about their own friends, mm-hmm. I feel like we gonna tell somebody else's business. Yeah. You gonna do the same to me. So And then I also watch because it's like, okay, you might talk about your friend when they're not around, but then you know, when you around them, you might tend to bring it up. You know, you might mm-hmm. be been to me because we friends, you've been to me, but when it's time to confront that friend about it, you confront it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I understand that too, but if yeah, you, you do different. all this talking behind their back, and then when you see them, you acting like everything cool, like hey, you want to bashing them to me, yeah. and it's like, what? Y'all best friends, and you was just, okay, yeah, I can't deal with that. Like, and then I feel like, like you said, it's the, way, it's the difference between venting. If you telling me, like, I don't like that they did this and the third, versus if you sit here like, oh, this bitch that, and yeah. she this, or you know she got this going on in her personal life, I'd mm-hmm. be looking like, oh, that's awkward. Yeah, there's certain things you just shouldn't tell, regardless. Even if it's a group of friends, if it's not your business to tell, you shouldn't tell. Right. Okay, hey, so Chad. now... The story times. Have y'all ever been in a situation when you were envious of a person or a person was envious of you? It don't even have to be a friend. Just like you, you encountered a, another woman just envious of you. Um, hmm. Well, me, I would have to say, like, my cousin. Like, they remember that story I told The one that was telling? Yeah, huh. That that was the worst. I felt like that's the worst. Um, come at me. And then when I was in ninth grade, matter of fact, it was eighth grade because it was before I went to high school. I had a boyfriend that I had been with for like eight months, and I used to go to his house. You know, we we was going to trouble for our parents' house and stuff. So I used to go to his house. We used to be kissing and stuff like that. Like that's it. And I remember a girl telling me, I think he did tell her this because it never happened. But it was one of the girls that hated me. And they started calling me a hoe of humble part and started spreading rumors saying, oh, you were sucking him in a park. And I'm like, well, hold on. Who told you that? Because I didn't even have sex yet. And they were spreading that rumor all around. It took me so long to kill it. So those were my two worst encounters with girls. That, that messed me up for a minute. So, yeah. I'm sorry, but they eating in the background. It's just like... <laughs> I love her. She just so tuned in. Like, this is yes. Was I smacking? Hey, so hot. No. <laughs> it's just your face is so funny. No, like, you was first... really watching TV. I love <laughs> Yeah, that's a good one. I be tuned in. <laughs> when, when, I, when people be talking, I be visualizing in my head the whole time I'm at the park. The whole story. Like, like, you sitting there like, yes. I didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the whole story. Y'all see, I was making a friend that was like, wait, hold on. Right. Like that meme. It's a meme like that. What? Yes. Woo. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, that's funny. Okay, guys, this one is coming to an end. You can check out the next part on my channel. I hope you enjoyed it. It's really going to get juicy now because I'm going to get to some tea in my next one, y'all. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye. What are you talking about? Yeah, that's messed up. That's bogus for real. Girl, girl, I'll tell you that. Have you had a situation before? When a, a, a female was envious of you? I mean, I haven't had nothing serious since, like, high school, for real, because I just, I don't know, I feel like I don't really let, like, now that, I mean, I know females be envious, but I just feel like you're not feeding fucking or finding things, so I don't really care, like, mm-hmm. yeah. you're not stopping my money, you're not doing nothing personal in my life to bother me, so I just be letting them do what they want to do, because at the end of the day, as long as you don't affect my money or my life, yeah. I don't give a fuck what you do, you can be mad in your own corner, you're beefing with yourself. Exactly. That's that's exactly what it is. You mad at yourself at this point. Real. 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 They ain't got nothing to do with me. They got everything to do with you. Mm-hmm. I feel Let me like see. I'm too old to be arguing. I'm too old to be fighting. I agree.
agree. I don't think I had anything um 